Hello YouTube, it's Josh. Thanks for clicking on my video. Hope your day is going well. Mine went pretty darn good. Very busy. But, waiting for me when I got home. I got something from Cabela's. Nothing crazy cool or anything. But I had read a couple reviews on this online. Didn't check out any videos on YouTube. And, kind of glad I didn't. That's not a big deal. But uh, Cabela sent me this huge box, and actually they sent it to my neighbor. Luckily I got a cool neighbor, he threw it over on my porch. What did I get? This is what I got right here, a holster belt. This has had some controversy about this belt, because it's so cheap. Let's get that out of the way. Go to Cabela's, it's the Triple K, no not like KKK, Ku Klux Klan. No, it's Triple K, named for whatever his name, his three children that run the company now. I don't remember the name, you can look it up for yourself. But uh, it's only 20 bucks, plus shipping, you know, whatever your shipping's going to be. I chose just a regular roll every day, three to five day shipping, and it arrived in three days. I was pretty impressed with that. Um, yes, style number three, triple zero eight it is the triple K holster belt. It's a walnut colored one. They have it in black also. It comes in this little baggie inside this giant box. Let's take it out of this. It doesn't come with this badass belt buckle. It actually comes with this cheap belt buckle. I took it off one. I uh, wasn't too impressed. It's a little flexible, but these edges are kind of sharp. Whatever. It's a $20 belt. Get over it. Put your own belt buckle in there. Be a man. Get one. It's nice because you can put any buckle you want on here because you have these nice snaps. I read a review on some website. I think it was Gun Talk. Where they said, these snaps are just too dang hard to work. Well, that's a good thing. You don't want your snaps to be really easy. Because then they'll come unsnapped in your waist if you're moving around. And everything falls off if you're using this type of belt, especially. And belt buckle. With a little hook on it. Yeah. Yeah. Another complaint I heard is that this thing is just saturated with oil. I had to rub it down. I had to wash it. Well, it's got, at least my example, I should say, is not super oily. I'm impressed with it. It has, it does have oil on it, but it's not, not really bad. It's not enough to where it's going to stain your clothes or anything. And if you just let it hang dry, it's going to absorb in there anyways. It's to keep it fresh and shipping. Again, it's a $20 belt, Jack. Get over it. But I am impressed with it. Um, you know what? I don't, I never even looked online to see what size it is. I think it's an inch and a half. Inch and a half to inch and three quarters. To give you an example, this is just your regular old, good old belt right here. This is a Carhartt belt. Put them side by side. Oh, it's black. Let's get it in the light. Put one over the other. There you go. There's a good size difference. This is your average style belt. Same size you'd wear for dress pants unless you got the really super skinny one. Let's give you this profile though, is what really impressed me with this belt. Maybe I should flip it this way. Bring it up. Check that out. This belt is about twice the thickness of this, hence a gun leather. It's hard. I mean, if you squeeze it hard enough, yes, you will collapse. I don't want to do that because it's brand new and, you know, it still feels cool that way. It's like a Glock. You don't want to do anything with it or any new gun until it gets some scratches before you throw it on the ground. But I'm impressed. It is somewhat flexible. I mean, it has to be worked in. It's a nice, thick chunk of cow. And it's not braided. Oop, break it that in camera. You see, it's not braided. That could be a downside to some people. I said braided. How dumb. It's not stitched. Um, you could stitch it if you want, but because it's not a multi-layer piece, you don't have to worry about that with this. If you get a little fraying, you can either melt it off with a torch, or even a big lighter for that fact. You can even give it that age look with a lighter or a torch. I've done that with work belts. But I'm thinking about using this for work and not just for a holster. I'm kind of kind of psyched about it. One thing I was worried about when I did pick it up out of the package is, ooh, you know what? My pressure to check the size of the belt loops on my pants. Right here, these are some, uh, Wranglers are these? Yeah, some premium quality Wranglers. I got them from Goodwill. They're five bucks, then half of that off because it was a red tag day. So it was $2.50, it still had the tags on and everything. Hey, check it out. My 803. Fits in there good. And so does this belt loop. Check that out. You even have just a tiny bit of wiggle room. Not a whole lot, but it's not a huge amount of resistance. You can even twist it just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. So it's easy to get it on and off. You don't have to have your pants off 
to put the belt through the loops. I've had belts where it's like that, and that is, in my opinion, a pain in the butt. Yes, it's nice once it's on there because it's secure. It's not going to move, but also it's secure and it's not going to move. I prefer just a little bit of give. But with a belt like this, if it does wind up being too thick for your favorite pair of pants, all you have to do is trim it. You can do that yourself. And you're not going to be out $60, $70, $120 on a freaking gun belt. 20 bucks, and you're done. It's simple. Let's grab a... Uh, oh, what is this holster called? It's the... Um, Versicary, Versicary holster. This is a bad example because it's not, you know, you know, a true, really good holster or anything like that. Slips through just fine. Check it out. I literally have not tried this till just right now. If you're gonna slide it over the belt, oh, duh, that would help. Urgh. Get on there. There we go. That works too. There's still some wiggle room, so you can adjust it and get it just perfect in between your belt loops. So far, I'm impressed. But uh, tomorrow's Friday. Today is the 3rd of October, 2013, so I'm going to give this a good little try. I've already put it on a couple times. You can see some little bend marks there. So far, I am actually impressed with this. I like it. It's been around for years, supposedly. And, oh, one thing. Because it's a brand new belt, they're always stiff. It doesn't matter what brand you buy. And because it's such a thick chunk of leather, when you go to put your hook or even... I don't even know what these are called. The doohickey here, through it, it is very stiff. I mean, I can barely even get this in through the holes. So keep that in mind. If you are one of the guys that likes to drill it out a little bit with a drill, that's cool. Use a drill bit and carefully do it. But keep this in mind. If you do that and you don't let it wear in naturally and normally, all right, see, I'm too big, so I don't use that one. But here. That's what bell loops do over time. And most people's waistlines don't change too much. Maybe you can see it better there. See how they stretch out? They get stretched, especially if you have a gun that's a lot of weight on there. These holes will do the same. It'll take a lot longer, mind you, but they will stretch out a little bit. So I would actually recommend not drilling your holes unless you wear it consistently for a couple of weeks. Give it a chance to break in. If you really need to, put just a little bit of oil. I'm not talking like a square, I'm just like a dab on your finger and put it on there. Grab your poker, we'll just call it a poker, and work it in there over and over, both sides. Do it underneath and in the front. And try it with a couple different thicknesses. That'll work it and try to build a memory into there. And to be honest, after a couple weeks of fiddling with it, and you know, it'll be a pain in the ass, especially if you really have to go to the bathroom and you gotta drop your trowel, it will be worth it. So that's kind of all I gotta say about this. It's a little bit long of a video, it's like, oh dang, eight minutes. Thank you for watching. If you want to buy a cheap gun belt, and so far, granted I just got it today, it's 20 bucks. Go buy it. If anything else, it's a good work belt. It looks good too. Thank you for watching, guys. You have a wonderful evening.